वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.27 सो टेकिंग इनटू अकाउंट ओनली द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ प्रेजनेटिक बीम ए बी फॉर द लोडिंग शोन सो दिस इज बीम ए बी एंड देयर आर टू पॉइंट लोड्स एक्टिंग एट पॉइंट डी एज वेल एज पॉइंट ई दैट दिस लोड इज पी द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ द बीम इज एल सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द of this beam for the loading the first step is that you have to find the reaction if you remove the support at point a and b so definitely there will be a reaction force at point a as well as at point b so the beam is symmetrical loading so symmetric beam and loading you can see that if you take the beam at the mid so you can see that loading on this side is equal to loading on this side so it means that r a is equal to r b now we will apply the equilibrium condition in order to find this so first equilibrium condition we here we will you can also use this equation but this will be more simple if you take some of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and taking the upward force is positive so you can see two, four forces are acting r a r y p downward and p downward so these four forces are acting in y direction so r a plus r b minus p minus p is equal to zero since r a is r equal to r b so you can replace r b is r a minus 2 p is equal to 0 so from here you will get 2 r a is equal to 2 p it means that r a is equal to p and this r a is equal to r b so it means r a is equal to r b is equal to p now we will take the portion so first over portion ad so ad so if you cut the beam in portion ad and if you draw the free body diagram so this is ra which is equal to p let this distance is x so again if you uh, when you cut it there will be a shear force and there will be a moment let this point is point o so we will take the moment condition that sum of all moment about point O is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So only moment about point O is due to this P into perpendicular distance X. So and there is external moment M. So M positive minus P into uh, x is equal to 0 so it means that this moment is equal to p into x so for portion ad we know that strain energy ad is equal to integral of m square over 2 ei into dx now the boundary conditions are from 0 to a because the portion ad start from x is equal to 0 and maximum it is a now you can put the value 0 to a and m is p so p square x square over 2 ei into dx if you simplify it further so uad is equal to p square over 2 ei into integral of 0 to a x square dx so again p square over 2 ei and it will be a cube over 3 and limit will be 0 to a so uad will be equal to p square a cube over 6 E I. So this is the strain energy in portion AD. Now we will take our portion of 
DE. So if you can see this the portion DE. So again the movement at point D is uh, this one which will be if you replace X with A. I will show you if you replace X is equal to A. So movement will be equal to PA and that will be at point D. So from D to E the movement will be same. So I will write just our movement is equal to PA. Again if you are confused so I will cut this beam definitely. So you can see that uh, this is the portion DE. If you cut the beam in portion DE and draw the free body diagram so at this point you have a load of p at a distance of a again you have a p and total distance is x clear and when you cut the beam there will be a shear force and there will be a movement so let this point is k point so we will apply sum of all movement about point k is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so movement about point k is first p into x and this will be clockwise the second movement is p into perpendicular distance is x minus a and third movement is m so their sum must be equal to zero so i will write down minus p into x plus p into x minus a plus m is equal to zero so when you solve this you will get this p m is equal to p a which is the same as i have written over here okay now we will apply uh, u for portion of d e will be equal to integral of uh, m square over 2 e i into dx and it will be limit will start from 0 to l minus 2 a because you can see this portion, this distance is L minus 2A. Okay. So when you put the value of M, so it will be P square A square over 2EI integral of DX 0 to L minus 2A. And if you solve it further, you will get u of de is equal to p square a square into l minus 2a divided by 2ei so this is u de now we will find u for d E, u of eb you can see that strain energy of ad is equal to strain energy of eb so we will use that by symmetry by symmetry you can write it u of eb is equal to u of ad and u of ad already calculated over here p square a cube over 6 ei so total strain energy for the loading is equal to u ad plus u eb plus u de so you can put the values it would be p square a cube over 6 e i plus p square a cube over 6 e i plus p square a square into l minus 2 a over 2 e i again if you solve simplify them and solve then you will get at last p square a square over 6 e i into 3 l minus 4 a 
सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन पॉइंट टू सेवन आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी इन कमेंट सेक्शन आल्सो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड कीप वॉचिंग द वीडियो थैंक यू